Take me out for some hot dogs. What a classic neon glow. Blackies has been serving customers in Connecticut for over 90 years. You know, this place opened in 1928. Uh, Mahoney and her husband, I, I forgot what Mahoney's first name is, but Art Blackman was nicknamed Blackie, and this was his passion. Hot dogs were his passion. And he opened up this hot dog stand here in Chester, Connecticut, 1928, and they've been serving hot dogs ever since. It's been voted time and again the top hot dog spot in the state of Connecticut, the Nutmeg State. And this is the type of place that just feels like a time machine. You're stepping back in the time when you step in a place like this. But let's see how these hot dogs taste as I come here to Raw Dog, Connecticut. Two plain hot dogs. Dude. That's it for you, sir? That's it. Whipped up in a quick hurry. Reminds me of a place I know. Doug's, you know? Sometimes I feel like being a rebel. But you know what? This place is a great hot dog place. And they make uh, Razul Pete's. It's been making, it's been their hot dog partner since 1928. And they exclusively make the hot dogs here for them. Martin Razul Meats. I've actually raw dog at home, Razul Meats. I actually, um, a few months ago, the grandson of Martin Razul contacted me and brought me some hot dogs uh, they, and I actually like them now I don't like how they they, uh, they kind of look like they cut them as they grill them but these hot dogs came out super quick they're made to order and now here we are we're gonna give them the ultimate tank try I mean these are decent looking hot dogs Let's just see how they actually taste. This is a certified triple. It's something that's gonna hit high off the wall. Almost a homer, but not quite. I would give these hot dogs a pure triple any time of the week. They have a good snap. Though I'm not a big fan of the cutting of the dog. But they're known for the relish. And in fact, they sell the relish in jars here. But I. Just don't like relish. Okay, I was fine. <laughs> but it, it has some of the qualities of Rut's Hut. Cash only, opened in 1928. But I think this is a triple, it's a good place. And if you're in Chester, Connecticut, this is a place you should definitely check out. Well, another place we raw dog here, Blackies in Chester, Connecticut. They've been doing hot dogs since 1928. Mary Mahoney, Art Blackman founded this place in 1928. And they've persevered. They persevered through tough times, the Great Depression, 
World War II and this place survived a fire in 1945 that destroyed the place and the place was completely rebuilt. And that's the type of hot dog place we love. They still have the no dancing sign because they didn't want to pay a cabaret tax here. But that's what makes this place great. And it makes you want to actually kind of dance. And when you dance, you want to dance with a nice shirt. This shirt here, this shirt, you can buy it at our store store. You can be Raw Dog with me. Come to Cheshire, Connecticut. Raw Dog Blackie's wearing this shirt. And I, once again, thank you. And you see this heart? You know what this heart's telling you? Click, like, and subscribe. Love my stuff. Click, like, subscribe. Tell me where to go next. I've had people actually mention Blackies to me. Uh, Martin Roswell, his family actually brought me hot dogs a couple of months ago. I tried them at home, they were good. These hot dogs are good. And this is the great place, this is why I go raw dogging. To see places like this, to see places like Blackies, and of course, a big thank you for tuning in once again. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strike out and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs>